Hello. And welcome to the Raw Vegan Guru channel, where we are raising our health consciousness. One meal at a time, one thought at a time, one day at a time. Today, we are going to be making a raw hot pepper fermented sauce. So let's get right to it. So what I'm going to firstly do is I'm going to slop shop, dice and chop my jalapeno peppers. And I am going to include the seed because I want as much heat as I can get in this concoction. I'm putting it in my big olive jar for my fermentation process. So first step, we are cutting up our peppers. We can use whatever hot peppers we would like, always preferably organic because that's the way to roll here on planet Earth. And I'm just going to chop, 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 bada boom, bing, bang. I'm going to bring it into that jar. Bam. And as you can see, I'm not getting too fancy here on my cut. I'm just cutting, you know? And if it doesn't cut all the way, it's basically exposing the inner flesh of the pepper. And this is also going to be um, fermenting in my water, sugar, salt concoction for, hmm, I'm going to say about a month is usually how long I'll let it go until it starts to really bubble out. Now, there's a lot of different recipes online as to how to make hot sauces. And there are methods where you uh, can roast your peppers and char your peppers for some flavor. And then there's hot sauces that you can cook on the stove top and boil out and heat with all your ingredients. You can bring in uh, vegetables, onions, carrots, etc. But I like to just keep it really simple and let nature do its thing and contain all of those elements as closely to the origins as I can without heating. And since I'm a raw vegan type of guy, I definitely like the fermented hot sauces, for example. Now, after I add these peppers, and as you can see the way I'm chopping them up, it's nothing special. When this hot sauce is ready for the final bottling process and it's fermented, we're going to be blending that up in a blender anyhow. So it's going to work out either which way. So I got a lot of these peppers. Look at all these peppers. I'm thinking, do I have too many peppers? Is that possible? Not for a guy like me because I love the heat. I love the heat. All right, we're almost done here with my chopping and my grinding and going. Now guys, this is really a quick, simple recipe that I think everybody is going to truly love. All right, so as you can see, I had my gloves. Now my gloves are off because I'm gonna start adding some things. Pink Himalayan sea salt right here. Bam. Tech cameraman. Do you get that? I'm going to add a couple of tablespoons here. A little of this and that. I'm also going to watch this uh, fermentation process and see if at any point I need to change anything. Now, I have some brown coconut sugar. Um... You could use a few different versions of a sugar. I like the coconut sugar. Of course, we're not going to do like a refined uh, white sugar or anything because we don't want neurotoxins. And I'm going to add a few uh, tablespoons of that because that's going to really kickstart off our fermentation. Now I have some ghost chili powder. I'm just going to add a little of this and that, you know, to, to your liking, to your desires when it comes to the heat, heat, heat. And then I'm adding some crushed red pepper flakes. Bam, bam, bam. And let me get this out of my studio set up here. 
So as you can see now, I have this jar filled with my salt, my sugar, and my uh, chopped up jalapeno. Now, you can bring some other elements into here, like maybe some garlic. Let's bring some garlic into here. I think I might have one ready. So I'm going to bring, I don't know, I'm going to go with a big heaping fat teaspoon there. All right, this is all the taste and liking, but that's how I'm going to roll on it. So boom, we've got our thing. We've got our concoction. We've got our mix. This in a month, eh, maybe it's going to feel really groovy and be uh, three weeks, is going to be some super duper smooth and nice jalapeno hot sauce. I usually like to do a little mixed pepper blend, but today I thought I'd keep it really simple with just a nice uh, lighter jalapeno because I'm a heavy hot pepper head. And jalapenos, eh, they can be hot, but I think they bring a really great flavor. So that is my jam. That is my Jimmy. That is my Jimmy jam. And let's top that a little bit more. I'm going to give this a little bit of air room, as you can see, that level there. And then I'm going to close my top and I'm going to swish around. I'm going to roll. I'm going to upside down. I'm going to sideways. I'm going to this and I'm going to that. Boom, boom, bam. That is our fermented hot pepper sauce concoction. So now I'm going to put this in a dark, cool place for about a month, and I'm going to check it every day, uh, pretty much just out of habit, um, to burp it. So what I mean by that is I'm going to open this top and just let a little bit of that carbonation that will be forming. You're going to get a little bit of a white foam that's going to collect in the top. Don't be intimidated by that. There's going to be a natural fermentation process and I'm just going to burp it. I'm going to burp it because I want to let that be exposed and come out. I don't want the jar to explode because you can make a jalapeno um, kind of like a you know, danger jar, I guess. So I'm going to be um, checking on that and burping. And when this is ready and I've got a really nice froth and I can see that the carbonation is really happening and I just kind of like get a sense and I can see, ooh, that's active. That's really uh, starting to show its life form. Then I'm going to uh, strain these peppers in a uh, colander, like a... Um, spaghetti uh, pasta uh, strainer or something to that degree. And then um, I'm going to take the brine. I'm going to save that for other uses. And I'm going to take the mashed pepper uh, and garlic and, and other um, spices in here. And I'm going to blend that in the blender, adding the brine, the liquid brine that I separated from this. Uh, and then after that, I'm going to put it in some jars, put it in the fridge. It lasts quite some time, I can say. I don't have an expiration date, but I'll tell you, it hangs with me for quite some time. And that is a simple hot sauce. So always awaken your senses with them hot peppers, and they're so good for you. They kill viruses, bacteria, molds, fungus. They are such a healthy element of protection and grooviness. So have a good day. Thank you for joining me on the Raw Vegan Guru channel. Make sure to leave your comments, your questions, whatever the heck you got to say or ask about. And remember to give that support and subscribe and share this with your friends so that they can learn too that health consciousness is pretty easy. Bye.